all in this session we are going to discuss converter control characteristics outcome on successful completion of this session the student would able to explain the converter control characteristics the intersection of two characteristics determines the mode of operation operation section 1 operation as rectifier with constant current control and say station 2 operating as co uh, constant or minimum excitation angle control see always rectifier station generally in rectifier station the constant current control will be done and in inverting station the minimum extension angle control or um, the constant extension angle controlling is done there are three modes of operation of link or for the same direction of power flow depending on uh, the ceiling voltage of rectifier which determines the point of intersection of two characteristics is defined below the first one is com uh, constant current at rectifier and co constant extension angle at inverter which is normal operation second one is with slight dip in ac voltage the point of intersection drifts to c which implies minimum alpha at rectifier and minimum gamma at inverter alpha is uh, the firing angle and gamma is the extension angle with lower uh, the third case is with lower ac voltage at rectifier the mode of operation shifts to point b which implies constant current at inverter so here the constant current at the inverter side this is all so this is the characteristics here you can see so at any instant from a to b the first station acts as rectifier whereas at the same time the second station will be acting as inverter uh, coming to the next part from c to d the first station is acting as inverter and second station will be acting as rectifier and here from a to b this is rectifier and this point here what happens here the uh, converter will be controlled or by constant current control technique takes place whereas from c to d uh, the uh, uh, minimum extension angle controlling is done the same time h to g during the first instant minimum extension angle in the lower part here whenever it acts as inverter minimum extension angle controlling will be done whenever it acts as rectifier the constant current controlling will be done this is the basic the next voltage dependent current limit the low voltage in dc link is mainly due to the fault in ac system on rectifier or inverter side the low ac voltage due to fault on inverter side can result in precedent communication uh, commutation failure because of increase of overlap angle in such case it is necessary to reduce the dc current in link until the conditions that lead to reduce dc voltage are re uh, revealed also the reduction of current uh, reveals those values those walls in inverter which are overstressed due to continuous current flow in them voltage dependent current source current limit so here it shows the voltage dependent current limit characteristics of both the station if low voltage is due to fault of rectifier side ac system the inverter has to operate at very low power factor causing excessive consumption of reactive power which is also undesirable thus it becomes useful to modify the control characteristics to include voltage dependent current limits the figure shows the current error characteristics to stabilize when the operation operating with dc current between id1 and id2 the characteristics of constant current and extension angle control shows in the limitations of current due to reduction in voltage so that's all about the uh, converter control characteristics